We are Robin and Steve. Last episode we'd had a wild time in some outer reefs and when pulling up a well dug in anchor in big swells, our anchor windless shaft bent. So, here at beautiful Dunk Island, Steve dealt with a super irritating puzzle. It's hard to pull up a long and heavy chain and anchor by hand, so we like this gadget and need it to work. These little spring-loaded pieces have to be put in just right or they ping off, possibly overboard. As Steve worked, a rowing team played on the beautiful jetty, diving and laughing as we sweated. Putting the winch back on without it falling apart was in itself a puzzle. Anyway, all serviced and greased, it was back in place. And by now, that rowing team were already rowing back to Mission Beach. Steve was still working so that the anchor windlass would work as well as it possibly could. And this temporary fix would get us to Cairns where a replacement anchor windlass would be waiting for us. That done, we headed to Marillion Harbour, which offers great shelter. Marillion is a little sugar mill town. It looked like crocodile heaven, so we stayed on board. My old rope had torn. Here's a before shot. See that torn bit? It shouldn't be there. So, as a nice surprise for me, Steve whipped an eye in the other end. So I could still use it. And use it I did. Thanks, baby. We sailed onwards and the fishing line went in. Here's what we don't like about line fishing. We didn't want to catch this shark, but Steve assures me that it will have lived. This would have just been a very crappy morning for a shark. We were off to the Franklin Group. I love this bit, seeing the dot of an island take shape over time. First stop, Russell Island. Russell Island has a few gorgeous chunks to it. 6,000 years ago, the islands around here of metamorphic rock were separated from the mainland when sea levels rose. The broken corals on this beach seem to be in distinct areas. Not sure why. And in the quiet of the tidal pools, we saw the wildest sea cucumber and feather star party that we'd ever seen. And underwater was pretty wild too. The fish in these areas aren't protected, and we didn't see many fish. Our next stop in the Franklin group was Normanby Island.
That black splotch there is a bait ball, a big group of small fish. We both did some much needed exercise and then jumped in the sea. Around this island the fish are protected and we saw more fish. Then it was off to High Island, where the border force came out to suss us out. We weren't jealous of their full black uniforms on this hot day. We kayaked about with some tough decisions to make, where to jump in. This next stop was too exciting. Soon my sister, brother-in-law and nephew from Cairns were going to meet us to play on the gorgeous Fitzroy Island. Well, we didn't know yet if it was gorgeous. It looked promising. As it turned out, we beat the family there so we could case the joint and make sure it was up to scratch as a venue for this special reunion. It definitely was up to scratch. And now, so that you can find the inner peace that we have and that you seek, look at some fish. And at this freaky sea worm. Fitzroy Island has some super relaxed turtles living there. It's about time I did a map recap. In the last few episodes we've been from Townsville to Fitzroy Island, but if we zoom in north of Townsville we went from Orpheus Island 
out to some reefs, to Hinchinbrook Island, Dunk Island, Marillion, the Franklin Group, Russell Island, Normanby Island, and High Island, and then off to Fitzroy Island. Join us next time as we reunite with loved ones on this totally up to scratch island.